everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Today I'm here to share with you another card in my series called Flashcards. I had a request recently for more wedding cards, so I got a little busy in my stamp studio today and created just a very simple yet elegant um, wedding card. But while I was playing, I decided to take the flashcard uh, template and just step it up a notch. Now, of course, one thing I love about flashcards is that they are pretty just as is, but I thought, you know, every once in a while with a wedding, you want to maybe give it that little extra flair. So I do have just a little stepped up version I thought I would share with you, but this is the card we're going to create today. So let's get started. I'm going to begin, as I always do, with my flashcard template. Today I'm going to be using Coastal Cabana and Whisper White. Now if you've not seen the first video on flashcards, it'll explain how to cut these pieces. You always have these on hand, and when you need a card and a flash, you grab these two pieces, stamp and go. Well, you can find that by doing a quick search on YouTube for Connie Stewart flashcards. It'll be the first video to pop up, and I'll share with you how to create that template. Now my card base today is also in Whisper White. I have that cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. This is a standard A2 card. This will fit in our medium sized envelope. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and start with our card base. And um, I decided to come in and do a little embossing just to give it a little something something. And um, I'm going to begin with our mosaic embossing folder. And you can see, you can just put that in there, line it up, and place it between two cutting plates and run that through your Big Shot machine. Now, if you do not own a Big Shot machine and you really want to get into embossing, Stampin' Up! has just announced a new precious little embossing machine. It is the cutest, and if you'll go to simplysimplestamping.com, you'll be able to see it, and you can order it right there online. But I'm going to be using my Big Shot, so I'm going to run that through my machine, and when I do, it's going to be beautiful and look like that. All right, we can set this off to the side while we get to work now on our Coastal Cabana. I'm going to use two uh, flower stamp sets today. I'm going to use the Flower Shop and the Petite Petals. Now one thing I love about that Petite Petals is it is in a bundle and you can get the stamp set and the matching punch at a 15% discount. And so you do want the punch for this one and then I need the matching punch that comes with Flower Shop and that is this one here. So let me go ahead. I'm going to get both of my punches out and now I can go ahead and bring in my stamp set. So again, uh, use whatever whatever flower in those sets that just makes you happy. I'm going to stamp two of them down here at the bottom. I'm going to flip that around and now from the petite petal stamp set, I'm going to stamp a little one right there. All right, easy peasy. Let's just give these a punch out and we will be ready to continue with our card. All right, I'm going to go ahead and punch out my last flower using the petite petal punch. I'm going to set this off to the side, and let me show you what we're going to do with these large flowers. I'm just going to come in with a bone folder, and I just gently kind of curled the ends, um, just, oh, almost like you were curling ribbon, and you're going to do that to both of them, so you can see it's going to kind of have a look like that, and then we can kind of from the center here, we're just going to kind of give that a little bit of lift. So you can see I just sort of pressed my nail into the middle. So now I kind of get a little uh, lift and a curl. So I've got that. Let me go ahead and bring in my Stampin' Pierce mat. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to, to get lift on this one. Boom. That's pretty much all there is to it. The end of any blunt object. I could even use my bone folder. Just anything to press into that mat. And you can see it's going to give really nice dimension to my flower. So at this point, we can go ahead and we're going to adhere these together. You can either do that with snail or with mini glue dots. I find mini glue dots to be the easiest. And so you can see we can just quickly layer these together. And when you put these two together, just make them kind of go a little ski wampus. And after you have that done, you can see we can kind of come in now and really give this flower some dimension because we don't want it to be too flat. So just like so. All right, let's go ahead and set that off to the side. And we will begin working with our Whisper White. Um, the stamp set I'm going to be using on my card is called Mr. and Mrs. I love this one. It's a single stamp. It's all you need. I'm going to be using a Jet Black Stays On pad. When you open that, give it a whiff because it smells really good. 
I love the smell of this ink pad. Okay, we're gonna ink that up really nice. I'm going to center it up in my card. Okay, so I've got that adhered down and you can see I'm able to hide the backing there. I'm now going to come in with a piece of our 1 8 inch taffeta ribbon in black and I'm just going to attach this to the back. I'm going to do that with just some snail adhesive. I've probably got about, oh, six and a half inches there. And as you can see, it's probably more than what I needed. But that's okay. We're just going to adhere that down right there. And now I can go ahead and attach this to the front of my embossed card. So I'll bring in my card base. I'm going to attach it here. Now you can also do this with Stampin' Dimensionals. If you're wanting to give it a little more dimension, you're welcome to use dimensionals as well. It's really pretty. And now I can go ahead and add my flower. And um, you know what, for that, I'm gonna put some snail directly on the area where my flower is going to go. Again, remember, we wanna give it that great lift. And re remember to give that center flower a little lift too. Don't let it be sad. And then I just thought it really needed a little bling. So I'm going to come in with some of our large rhinestones. And we're just going to add that to the center. I mean, doesn't that just look gorgeous? I love, love, love it. Now, I thought it needed one more little thing. So I just took another piece of that black taffeta ribbon. I've got it adhered with just a mini glue dot. And you know what? That is all there is to it. I mean, that's the card you're going to be making when you're walking out the door, putting your heels on, getting ready to leave for the wedding, don't you think? And again, my stepped up version, I just added another layer of black. I took a little, actually it was just a piece of scrap, and I used the scallop trim border on it. And then just a little tiny strip of uh, our silver glimmer um, cardstock. So really, you can see, you're welcome to step it up a little bit if you'd like, but the basic version is awfully pretty too. Well guys, that's our card for today. I hope you enjoyed today's flashcard, and thank you so much for tuning into the flashcard series. Now, if you are a fan of flashcards, but you really aren't a fan of cutting, well, you can also order flashcards to go. This is where you're going to get all the pieces to create 40 cards, and you're going to have um, two of each color or, and each size. So that's 40 cards all together. You're going to have the envelopes. You're going to have the cardstock. Everything is scored and ready for you to get creative. So to order your flashcards to go, go to simplysimplestamping.com. You're going to see a place there where you can order those. Or if you need to get any of the products I used on today's card, it's very easy. There's an online order button. You're going to click it order it and have it shipped directly to you. So I hope you guys will check it out and subscribe to simplysimplestamping.com. I appreciate you tuning in today and I hope you all have a terrific day. Bye-bye.